Hello everyone. Today I would like to show you another case with very interesting airway morphology. I'll cut to chase and show you the axial view of the patient's airway. So why don't we start at the level of the heart palate and I'm going to scroll the volume inferiorly and play, pay close attention to the overall shape of the airway. Okay, now as I'm moving inferiorly, I hope you can visualize that the airway is um, getting smaller both in the AP direction as well as in the transverse dimension. At about here, it becomes um, pretty much the smallest portion this is the minimal cross-sectional region of the patient's upper airway. And then as I go toward further inferiorly, it becomes wider in both directions. Now let's look at the same airway in the sagittal view. So pay attention to this area. Let me start up from the patient's right side and as I scroll through you're starting to see airway highlighted with this red color and um, as you saw previously it's wide toward the heart palate and becomes very constricted and suddenly becomes wide again so let's observe that one more time as I move through the volume from the patient's right to left and back to the Right. Uh, we can also take a look at coronal view. It's probably more difficult to appreciate the overall volumetric change of the airway. But that is the coronal view. Um, another area that you want to identify is now that you've noticed the constriction is occurring at this level you may be wondering what does this uh, area corresponds to in the mouth. Do you guys have any idea? This is consistent with soft palate. So the minimal cross-sectional area is occurring just posterior to the inferior portion of the soft palate. Um, so you're also looking at uvula as well. So now let me highlight the volume and uh, we are, what you're seeing here is a 3D rendition of the airway. We have an average volume or estimated volume of 12.3 cc, just the way I highlighted. Obviously, if I change the border of the airway, it's going to be different. But I want you to see the minimal cross-sectional area that it's estimated, estimating. 38.9. That is very small. It's very, very uh, constricted airway. Let's figure out the approximate dimension of the airway. So let me get to the area of interest. So right about here, let me zoom in and let's get a rough estimate of the dimension. So transverse, I'm measuring about 13 millimeter at this level and in the AP direction, I'm going to have to, let's see, move this out of the way. I'm getting about three millimeter. One thing that I want to, another area that I want to focus is that observe the position of the tongue is retruded. As a matter of fact, it's touching the roof of the mouth or roof of the palate. Yes, there is a little bit of gap, but this patient is has lifted the tongue up and it's touching the roof of the mouth. And that may have certainly contributed to this constricted appearance. Nevertheless, I am so concerned with such a small mi minimal cross-section area such that I have a I have a suspicion for obstructive sleep apnea in this patient. Um, so that's another area that that I like to evaluate when I'm looking at Combim CT scan in addition to everything else that's captured here. 
not to mention obviously the dentition but also the sinus pathologies cervical spine pathologies and any other um, abnormalities that can occur along the cranial base okay so that is my goal and uh, I hope you found this interesting and I will see you in the next video take care